Hey guys, I'm going to go over how you enter a split transaction in the checkbook register of Georgia's budget for Excel. Currently I'm in the Bank of America checking account register and I've already recorded one transaction here and that is for a thousand dollar deposit from my check I received and I assign that to the category of salary. So let's go ahead and do another transaction that is not going to be a split transaction. And let's say that we got some gas at Hess gas station. And let's go ahead and assign that to the expense category of auto gas. And let's say that we spent $100 there. And you have to enter that as a negative because it's an outflow. And now let's go ahead and do our split transaction. Let's say that we went to Walmart. And if you're going to do a split transaction for the category, you enter split, and then you enter the total amount spent at Walmart. In this case, it was $200, and you enter it as a negative because it's an outflow. So below that, you're going to break up your split into various categories. So in this case, we spent that $200 on groceries, pet care, and clothing. So over here, it gives you some directions. Enter itemizations below and select split in the rec field. Let's go ahead and enter the um, itemization of that $200. Select split in the rec field. And the biggest amount of that $200 went towards groceries. So let's say that $150 went toward, towards groceries. And you enter that as a negative because it's an outflow. And over here in yellow, you'll see that we still have to allocate negative fifty dollars of that two hundred. So let's go ahead and enter another split itemization. And of that fifty that's remaining, we spent twenty-five entered as a negative on clothing and shoes. So now we have negative $25 left to be allocated to another category. And so the final category that we spent um, when we went to Walmart on that day, we'll say was pet care. And we spent $25, entered as a negative, on pet care. Okay, over to the right here where it says split group. This is just a running number that helps identify those transactions as one group. So that when you're scanning your transactions, you can see that A, that's a split group, and B, that they're all part of one um, split group. The next split group that you enter below that will be called split group number two. Okay, so basically you went to Walmart, you spent $200, and you broke it between three different categories. And being able to use split transactions is important because if you weren't able to split this and you just said, hey, I'm going to assign everything just to groceries, the full $200, well, then you would really be overestimating your grocery expense because you actually didn't spend $200 on groceries. You actually spent $150 on groceries, $25 on clothing and shoes and 25 on pet care. So now really what you could do is you could set a budget for all three of these items, a monthly budget, and then you could compare it to your actual expenditures. Okay, and there's one other thing I want to go over is this running balance here. You started off with that $1,000 deposit. You then spent $100 on gasoline, so that brought you down to 900 and then you spent $200 at Walmart, and that brought you down to $700 remaining balance in the register. And if you notice that as you scroll down here, it just stays at $700. And that's because it realizes that these items here are all part of the same split group. Okay, so it doesn't subtract them again. It just subtracts the main $200 that you spent on Walmart.
So that's a basic overview of how to do a split transaction in Georgia's budget for Excel.